Don't do anything drastic unless you want to look like this. Life is a prison. Get me the f out. Like, I just woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I woke up yesterday. I looked at the ceiling. I said, ah! You just woke up, saw yourself in the mirror, and screamed, but that I just woke up from my nap, and I saw that hairstyle, and my shit went back inside my butthole and said, no thanks. And life is a prison. Get me the fuck out, unfortunately, for Mr. Prada. Uh, TikTok star over here. There will be no more getting out of prison because he allegedly shut-talked his therapist out of this world. He, this part is not allegedly, he literally stole his therapist's car. The police wanted to stop him. He still shut-talked the police car out of this world. He got away for like a day or two and he's been finally arrested and being charged with many things which we're gonna go through in this video. All right, so a TikTok megastar, Mr. Prada, arrested in Dallas over a murder of his therapist. Now, I wanna talk about the megastar part. First of all, TikTok followers do not count because in that case, I have more followers than him. He has 4.3, I have 4.7. What does that make me? Uh, ultra alpha superstar mega now, i know some of you are like oh wow i didn't know i was talking to someone who has 4.7 million followers on tiktok calm down i know i know calm down having more followers obviously makes me a better person than you that was sarcasm for if you're not here we use a lot of sarcasm imagine someone <laughs> took that seriously anyway i will sign your foreheads one by one calm down i'm just like you i'm just a normal person trying to make you know, videos for living. Anyways, now according to the reports, the influencer was named a person of interest in the murder of William Nicholas, is the therapist, who was 69 years old, whose body was found in a tarp that had been dumped on a road on Sunday outside Baton Rogue. Thomas was seen driving the therapist's car as he fled from the authorities during the traffic stop. He has not been charged in the therapist's death, which authorities say was caused by blunt force trauma. Now, according to the autopsy, Mr. Abraham, the 69-year-old therapist, died like three days ago, I would say three, four days ago. Now, according to the reports on his body, the therapist, 69-year-old Mr. Abraham, was a lot of bruises. He died because of uh, head trauma, there was shoulder trauma, there was neck trauma, there was everything. Someone basically just shut them out of this world but keep by giving him a very, very strong beating. A Mr. Prada, who turns out to be his patient, just randomly appeared in his car. I'm sure it had no connection to each other at all. That's the reason why they're not charging him but i really want to know his excuse when they found him after he fled the cops after being you know spotted in a his dead therapist's car i wished for a car and the car just appeared in front of me and i just took it i had no idea it was my therapist what well, my therapist is that oh my god no and the reason i think they haven't charged him yet is they're just collecting evidence this case is just very fresh they're just waiting for more evidence and investigating more so they can you know have a lot of proof when they once they start to pin him down even though bro was found in his therapist's car after i mean we we still don't know it is still being alleged but it's right in front of us now mr prada refused to obey the officer who was attempting to you know make his traffic stop instead he backed into the police car and then fled on foot while officers recovered the victim's vehicle i mean that doesn't really scream guilty maybe he had to take a very big shit so he just ran to the closest bathroom possible because thomas was later captured on a nearby store surveillance camera which police released monday night as he remained on the loose after being captured on the camera and thanks to the public they managed to arrest him like just a few hours ago for me making this video now the motive of the murder is still unclear we don't know who did it who was it he was just being charged with the connection to the unalived situation so they can investigate it and see what they can go forward with what what he's being charged with is running away from a police officer and you know crashing his stolen car grand theft auto crashing his stolen car into a police officer just a few charges but not the main one which is the unalived one and believe it or not majority of people are cheering for him because of a rumor that started spreading and everyone started believing because that one person who spread the rumor forgot to mention allegedly. All right, so speed you up with things. Mr. Abraham, the therapist who passed away, he was previously arrested in 2015 for allegedly inappropriately touching an 11 year old boy during a therapy session now mr prada is 20 years old and nine years ago he was indeed 11 years old but we gotta look at the facts over here abraham's attorney said that the 20 year old arrested in dr nick abraham's case is not the same person who accused the doctor of molestation 
in 2015 abraham's former attorney said on wednesday now a coincidence with the age thing in this situation can be very unlikely but at the same time if you think about it why would you want to go back to the same therapist and the therapist did not recognize the same victim that he think it's just, it's just all over the place at this point but at the same time all we have from this is you know the therapist attorney saying that the 20 year old was not the same person as the 11 year old back in 2015 all we have is a trust me bro i try going to these cases court search document type of things people's public records i've tried looking for the perfect site to go through this whole thing but every time i go through it i'm just like a grandpa who doesn't know how to fucking use a internet i have no idea every time i try to use it please enter your mobile number for the search processing to go and this is the part where i say no i don't trust it why should i give you my phone number and i think even if you have the right website to just search this whole thing court document up i don't think you'll find much of it because he wasn't charged. He was arrested nine years ago and booked in prison, but he was released after posting a $25,000 bond, as records show. Wh which record, my friend? Where? However, prosecutors did not bring the case to trial, so they just gave up on it. There just wasn't enough evidence to go through with this whole thing, and he was found not guilty. Maybe he did it, maybe he didn't. We have no idea of what really happens. And, you know, we all know that we shouldn't really trust what the court has to say not guilty turns out five years later that they murdered like three people but they were convicted of not being guilty you don't really know what happens maybe he did it maybe he didn't but according to what we're seeing and hearing right now and according to records he's not the 11 year olds fuck i might be wrong he might be the 11 year old and he just you know prepared himself for revenge after nine years and should talk them out of this world the only person who knows is the big guy up there and you know he's looking eye to eye with them anyways rest in peace it's crazy how information travels so fast and everyone's just taking his side after you know he ran into a police car run away in the victim's car after he was found two days ago beaten to death what he just magically found the car in front of him and it quince it was a coincidence that it turned out to be his therapist car even though it was like stolen and now everyone's bringing the 2015 case without any proof everyone's like oh he did it because he was traumatized and the therapist deserved it i can come literally and talk out of my ass right now and i can come and be like queen elizabeth the third was my auntie and i was part of the family i'm supposed to be a billionaire but that's when they decided that, you know, I, I was doing TikTok videos. They disowned me and now I am so poor. And there's going to be 100% donkeys on the internet saying, This is unacceptable! Kush deserves it. He's part of the king! Holy shit, I didn't know that! But this is unacceptable and he needs to be part of that family again. Hashtag justice for Kush. Hashtag Kush, Kush the third. Hashtag Queen Elizabeth. Just don't believe whatever you see on the internet. That's all I'm going to say. We're going to see what happens in court as, you know, the hearing is just going to be very soon. I'll update you if anything interesting happens. If you don't hear from it, just know that he just went to jail for a very long time. I really hope there's a twist to it and he didn't actually do it. But he was involved in this whole thing. Like, you know, this is what they make movies out of, literally. But most likely, it's just going to be, he did it, take care, bye-bye, no more TikToks, uh, you'll be in jail, and you won't be ex escaping life anymore because, you know, you you're stuck in jail. But anyways, this case was crazy, just wanted to share my thoughts on it and share the whole story with you. If you enjoyed it, like, subscribe. If you're new here, take it easy. I will see you at the next one.